Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Satisfactory. So, I was just <laughs> reviewing all the Satisfactory videos that I did. I knew that I had like multiple videos where I had water problems and I thought I had solved it and had it in there for you guys. But I watched all the way to number 11, which is the last video. And let me just tell you why I'm saying this, because I recorded all these ahead of time. I went out of town for 10 days, and so I knew that there was going to be some major frustration, right? Wanting to help me get this right. I thought I did a video. What I did was I streamed this before I left, and in the stream I had told people that I'd fixed the water problem, but I didn't do it in a video. All right, my water problem was the same thing from the very beginning like I don't know episode five or so whatever wherever I did the coal so here's my issue I was looking in the pipe right I'm looking in the pipe going well this pipe is capable of 300 and I'm only seeing 120 or whatever remember I was kept saying that I'm looking at this thinking that my piping configuration was wrong because I figured if you're flowing correctly, you would get the max flow rate. Well, I was wrong. The whole time, the problem was I needed more water extractors. These water extractors will only do 120 total. If you've got one of them and you've got three coal powers online, well, that's like 130, 135 cubic meters. So the pipe out there is never going to be full and it's going to run short. So after all the going back and forth, back and forth like an idiot. Hey, that's a power thingy right there. Ooh, power slug in the ocean. Nice. I could do some more uh, overclocking. Anyway, I added this guy to it. And you can see now it's there work. This one's shutting down. They're working pretty consistently together. And then I, so that's those first three coal generators. Then I added another set and knowing what I know now, I immediately dropped in two more water extractors with the same piping configuration. And ever since then, well, Okay, I take that back. I was going to say, ever since then, I haven't had any issues. Not entirely true. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the current issue that I'm having. Which is... Whoop, this now. And the reason I'm having a coal issue... You see how spread out the coal is? Anyway, I'll, I'll show that to you in a second. So I apologize, you guys. I know it had to be super frustrating. But as I was making those in my head, I'm like, oh, I fixed it. And then I had a problem like, oh, then I fixed it. Then I didn't fix it and I was confused. And then I, I thought this was all, wasn't as spread out as it was. But it ended up being kind of spread out as far as the videos go. Apologize for that. I know how frustrating that can be when you can see from the beginning, you're telling me in the comment section, but I don't usually do this, but I had to get ahead on videos because I went on a little can we survive trip. So that being said, the answer all along was I didn't have enough extraction capability. It didn't matter how my piping was. I mean, I think that would the piping would have been more self-explanatory if that was it. And these things here, they if I connect them, they still screw this up because the, um, these add to that f total overall flow and it just screws everything up. So I don't even need those. I just thought they look cool. But this is now, this set is for three. This set is for three. I've got three here and three there. Now the original three was that crazy coal thing that I brought down, right? It's just this one right here. It's coming down from a pure sight, right, to here. And then it splits into three. And you can see how the coal is all stacked up. It's all waiting to go in there. Where the other one, this one above me here, 
it's coming down from its own coal or up on coal mountain and it's going to that foundry up there making steel so i'm splitting it from there and that thing is clocked it's it, that thing's overclocked and it's pulling a lot of the coal up there so i'm splitting it and then bring it down here and then i'm splitting it again three ways here and you can see it's just it's just not enough so i think it was during this stream i want to show you guys what i did i went back up we started doing some calculations and stuff i went back up and i ran i checked the coal generator uh coal extractors up there and they weren't being very efficient all right what they were doing was they were basically shutting off. They would get to 100 because it was like stacking up. It wasn't pulling it out fast enough. It was stacking up. So it'd get to 100, go down to about 94, and then turn on again. So what it was telling me was it needed to extract the coal out faster. I didn't even need a Mark II miner up there. I What I needed was a Mark II belt. And so I ran a Mark II belt and you can see it's going so f it's pulling out so fast it won't even store any this guy here this is a mark ii belt that over there is i think that's if you look at the side here you see how tall this is compared to that is a mark one belt those are still mark one belts uh This isn't gonna. This isn't gonna help me though. The problem is. Anyway, let me go. Let me back up a little bit. I, I confused myself by doing some of this stuff on the stream. All right, let's head up this way, a little bit. I'm stuck. There we go. My idea is this, and this is probably what we should do right now. Because I'm going to need more coal. Look, look at that. See that line over there? It's starting, stopping, starting, stopping, starting, stopping. That means this thing's probably... Well, I pulled a lot out of here, but yeah, it's full. See that? It's full. This one... And this is a Mark II belt pulling out of there. And it's a Mark II belt all the way down. So this thing is full... This one here, non-stop, continuously running. It can't catch up. So here was my idea. I unlock the the level two or the, the double, like you see the size of this thing, the double one, right? So what I'm thinking about doing is taking these two, doing a, a conveyor belt merge and merging these two lines together, coming into... Well, this one and the double one, okay? And then come out of this to these two lines. So what I'll have back here away from my factory, hopefully, is a buffer, right? I'll have a buffer of coal. And then using those two up there, that should supply my... You can see, right? Well, it's hard to tell sometimes because your distance, but those are turning on and off, those three over there. And if it does it at the right time, I blow the fuse. Because I need I need probably oh, five coal generators right now, maybe four. But when they go down, it, it shuts it off. So what do I need? I need to get some of that stuff. Okay. So you, you picking up what I'm putting down? I want to utilize this buffer and this line here to help this one out. Divide the difference between the two. Because, again, this one is only feeding three coal plants this one's feeding three coal plants and an overclocked foundry and it's just it's going bonkers it's going bonkers so dun 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 let's do uh this so i can see what i need 20 beams so as far as the next level of stuff you know when i talk about next level first primary level being plates and rods and the and uh industrial plates and rotors i have those all being made on the first floor the first thing i've made so far up here and i probably talked about this but we'll just go over it again is steel ingots and you can see it's i've got it double clocked to 200 percent this thing's clocked but the problem is 
Look at the coal. This coal is slowing it down. Just like it's the same coal slowing down those plants. And then I'm coming in here, then I'm pulling out of here into here, which is clocked to make steel pipes, all right? And with one clock on here, this seems to be doing okay. It's coming out of there, going into one of the doubles, and it's making a bunch of pipes. And that's where that part ends. This one here is making, let's see, this one is making uh, copper sheets. And what I did, I finally used those vertical elevators. What was happening on these, they were getting, uh, they were getting full and I was losing the ability to, to make stuff. So, um, for these, I need, I think I need a bunch of this. So to make 50, I think I need that to make 50. And again, I'm, I'm at the point where this is the, uh, what do they call it? A hyper tube. I put it right at the top of my stairs so I can uh, get sucked in there. Anyway, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm going to start making... I'm making ingots, iron, copper, and steel. I'm making plates, rods, reinforced plates, screws, copper sheets, and and pipes I'm to that point. I'm not making encased beams yet, modular frames, or steel beams. Uh, making wire, I'm making concrete, and then down here is the next level of stuff. So at some point, depending on, you know, these objectives, I'm probably going to need to start making rotors, stators, and motors. All right. But for right now, I'm going to make, I can make 97 of these. I only need 20. It's four per, so I'll just get a couple extra while I'm here. I'll put two. I must have had some stacks with me. So when it comes to this where I need just a little bit of something, I'm still coming in here and manually doing it. Um, and I know that's like not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm doing. Anyway, oh, real quick. So this stuff is cool. So I got four coupons. All right, and this ladder here was unlocked with the coupons in here. So they got some really neat stuff. Different roofs, pillars, you can see structural beams, uh, industrial railing, <coughs> road barriers, all kinds of really neat stuff you can make. Here's that I bought, the ladder. One thing I really like is well, this stuff is cool. You can label your containers. So that's, pro I'm gonna unlock some of this stuff. We'll see which, which size. Um, walls, attach, this is what I really like. Look at this thing. So instead of doing power poles when you're on the inside, you can put them on the walls. You can also do conveyor wall mounts, a conveyor lift floor hole, and then for hyper tube stuff, and then here's the wall outlet. Pretty pretty neat stuff. Different foundations for different shapes. In case you want to make a skate park. Uh, I don't know. That thing. I hope. I want to get this and I hope I can drive it. We can customize stuff. Concrete. Asphalt. Metal. Some different equipment you can buy. I've made parachutes. I've made the medical inhalers. I've made ammo packs for the rebar gun. And then you can actually buy parts too with your with your coupons. And right now I have eight. So I have eight coupons. And I've been doing research. So that's where I'm at on alien organisms. This one's done. This one's done. These got me unlocked different versions of the medical inhaler. Power slugs are done. The quartz is just getting started, so. The power slugs, um, I'm do you know you obviously use those to make overclockers like. Uh, so the blue one will make one shard, right? The yellow one, this is the yellow one, makes two shards, and then the purple one, 
will make five. And I did find a couple, I found a couple yellows and I found one purple. So we'll go ahead and make these up. I had a few, so we have seven more overclockers when we need it. But that um, out there, that spire that I saw way out there, it's uh, that was a purple slug up there, pretty cool. And I did some adventuring around. Right past that point there is a big ocean, so I think that's like the edge. And then I finally went behind this way, and there's a grass area over there, and I finally found all the berries. I finally found the berries that I needed. I want to double check to see where we're at. So right now we have 510, but this 510 isn't all coal. It's I still got two of the uh, those guys running down there. And I don't like that I have that, but I need that in case I have a power outage and I need to kickstart the water pumps. So 510, but though this can go down, this can drop because once those burn out of the biofuel Max continuous right now, though. See, production is 450, continuous 414, and then my consumption is, uh, you know, three 270. That's this line. So, even with everything that I have going, it's still not enough. It's still not enough. So, I'm going to go see... Can I make... Um, Gotta make sure I can make these guys. I got that. And I've got that. Yep, okay. So, I'm gonna try and fix my coal problem. It's weird because I did I did a stream or something. I, I could have swore. I just, as I just launched this, this video, I just started playing. Because I'm like, oh my god, I never told them that I fixed the water. I, and I could have swore I did it like like episode 8, 9, but I went all the way to 11 and I still hadn't fixed it yet. All right, so we're going to merge these back here into one. I guess I can put this probably here. Uh, yeah, we'll, come, we'll line it up with this guy if we can. I don't know if it's going to let me line it up. not going to give me because I have that there okay we're going to have to go about right there okay so we're going to come out of this thing and merge into these guys oh this is not this is not pleasant Hmm. That goes up in the air. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to there. I'll probably have to shoot it up to that next one. All right, so this is going to be a splitter. Oh, it's trying to grab everything. Probably come out of there and merge it up to there. Come out of here and merge it to right there. All right. Now, I'm going to do Mark II's in here. What Mark II did I just click? Mark II, that one. Okay, that's that. Now, I'm going to have to do a splitter back here. Splitter time! This isn't going to be very good. All right, I have an idea. I'll do this. I don't really want to uh, lose production because I will end up screwing this up. All right, so we're going to get rid of this going to get rid of that. I'm going to do a Mark II belt out of this one. To there. Out of this one. To there. That should start pulling that out. 
perfect. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. How far does that go? That goes pretty far back. Okay, conveyor belt two out of here into there. All right, now I need a merger. I'm just gonna put it back here. Oh, I went through that rock right there. Oh, uh, whatever, I clipped it. All right, so mark two belts here coming into this merger. Uh, the whole reason I'm doing this is just to try and create a buffer. And what'll be interesting is will it actually be a buffer or will it actually pull all this out? We're going to find out. So this one is pulling out of there. See how fast this is. Alright, so it's it's holding its own right now. But that doesn't mean that that one up there is not... Uh, take all of these. I was contemplating bringing this stuff with me, but... Alright. So... See how that one is still doing its normal thing? Because it's not, it's not using so much there. But this one here... I don't know. It, it may, have, may have not made a difference because... Look at the gap in those things. Still not filling here. It's, oh, it didn't make a difference. It didn't make enough of a difference. Look at this. See, I thought I could utilize the, um, I could do a Mark III belt right here. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive, actually. If I do a Mark III belt, what it's going to do is it's going to pull any of that buffer out of here. Probably what I'm going to have to do is run another coal line, which is like the absolute last thing I wanted to ever do is run. I got dual craziness going up there. And the last one was like, I'm contemplating like having one of those trucks do their thing. See, it's not gaining here. It's not gaining. It's not gaining here. So there is a buffer. There is a buffer, but what I want to do is maybe... So what I've done is this before. I've come back to this buffer, right? And then I've just brought it manually down. Manually. It's kind of important to get your power situated, right? Because you're going to just keep adding stuff. And as it is now... Six of those is not going to be enough. So if I take this guy and put a hundred in here. Let's see, it, it, can it keep up or is it going to slowly go down? See, what we want is because it's clocked, we don't want this num this thing to ever pause. And the only reason it pauses is because, look, it's it's working its way down. Now, yeah, I could I could unclock this one. I could unclock this one. Back to 150. It's still going down. It's still going down. 
Wow. It's got a few in there. This guy is clocked once, making a bunch of steel pipes, which our pipes are looking pretty good. So I put all those in there. And look at that. No buffer. It's pulling faster than it can hold. Slowly but surely. 90, 89, 88. And then when this buffer runs out, my um, my coal over here, this these generators are going to start to, to plop. You see the gaps in this stuff? And this is Mark 1 belt. Yeah, I could increase these belts, but man, that's just going to make it even worse. Now, the other thing that I did was I actually brought coal with me and stacked 100 in here because it was doing one in, burn it, one in, burn it, one in, burn it. But right now, it's able to actually hold that. So as it sits right now, it's okay. Am I at the right set? Yeah, I'm at the right set. So because I stacked that in there and it wasn't fighting itself, they're all staying at 100. These are no problem because they're stacked for days. I mean, look at these gaps, right? If it, if it wasn't for this little pause right here, and look at, this tells you just visually how close I am to, if I didn't have this buffer here of these guys, these gaps here, each one of these gaps would hose us. So I think, um, I don't know. I'm going to see what else opens up as far as in here. Like, what what else is going to open up in here? We're at the point where we've cleared tier 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have to do these guys over here to open up the next two tiers. And those are really expensive. I'm going to have to spend some time building machines to automate this stuff. But like I said, this is really the only... Uh, and this is it. This one here has got its own iron source coming in. Oh, by the way, I did double check the purity. So both of these iron guys here, my first two irons, both both are pure nodes, pure and pure. And my copper, pure node. So good candidates for Mark II, um, Mark II miners and Mark II or Mark III belts. But up there. I went up on Cold Mountain and I'm running it at maximum e efficiency right now. Those are actually pure, two pure coal nodes up there as well. So I was looking at it though, and a Mark I miner with a Mark II conveyor coming out of it is holding, it's, it's as efficient as it can be right now. The next step would be to go to Mark II uh, miner and a Mark III belt. And those belts need to come from this stuff. Because I need to make these guys steel beams. So it's four of these for every one of these. Yeah, I know. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. But I'm on the, uh, yeah, second, still on the second level. I haven't done a lot on the second level. I've been running around doing other things, which is good. It's part of it. I just want to double check and see how we're doing here. So I took out a whole row and it's it, we're at the same point. So I'm definitely going to um, what I might be able to do is there's another coal node up there. I found another coal node out that way on the ground, but it's really far. It's really far. Actually, we should be able to see how far it is. If it'll scan, it'll be over this way on the north. Those ones up there will ping first. One, two, three. There should be three up there. The other one's out this way. It's it's out of ping range. Let's go run over there real quick. There's some danger over here, though, man. Went through these caves. I think I'm better off. Might be better off going this way. I don't remember. I I think I walked up to it, but it, it's in the grass area. 
It's in the grass area, and it's there's all kinds of bad creatures over here. But I don't remember if it was a pure node or not. Now, I was using this. I forgot to get, make more ammo. This thing works okay. It's a bit of a slow reload. Actually, I haven't gone up there. So you see that mountain between... Right down there is the Green Valley, I believe. Alright, yeah, I was up on that thing, and these are a couple of bad, bad fellas right here. There's two of them. There's the Green Valley right there. Let's see if I can ping a, ping a coal from here. That's that one back there. There. So 692, 697 out that way. So basically 700. There's my other nodes. Oh, man. What is that? Please tell me I didn't make that. You see that thing? What is that? It's kind of weird thing. Anyway, that... <laughs> That's ridiculous, but 700 meters that way, it wouldn't be bad to get it from there to here. And then from here, there's my other coal lines. I, I actually might not go use that one. I may go grab one of those out there. Get out of my face. This stuff here is pretty good if you want to make... um biomass that little one thing right there is good for 200 of the biomass not the solid stuff but the the biomass that's pretty good because you go when you're when i started adventuring around i still haven't made it to the very top up there yet but we will go up there i might do that instead of going up this again because this this ridiculousness here i'll check both of those out there i mean we'll we'll do it in a video we'll check both of them and we'll bring we'll bring the stuff to make a Mark II miner and level three belts, like to really get this stuff cooking over here. And we'll bring it in, and we'll get it like coming in right here and do whatever we need to do. We can either merge it in here if we want, and then if this thing fills up, then we'll change this line here to a level three belt, and we can pull out faster here. You see what I'm saying? I think that'll be our best bet. I'm going to make a kind of a coal facility over here with buffers. Because I'm going to need even more. This is I've only got one foundry and six coal uh, power plants. And I'm going to need more coal power plants and more foundries. Because in the... Fa I think more foundries. No. Not necessarily. I'll just overclock this one to make more steel ingots. Because the foundry is only making steel ingot so not too bad anyway you guys hope that cleared some stuff up um like i said i know it gets super frustrating watching me do something and you guys are saying dude why don't you see what was that noise why don't you see that the water extractor doesn't do enough well i finally did i was confused by the piping i thought the piping was going to do 300 so Anyway, you guys, I appreciate you guys watching the series so far. We got a lot to do, and that coal thing will be probably our next big project. Because right now, everything is still producing stuff. I need this stuff to keep going, but I might need to get something else going up there. Like an assembler, put an, a constructor up there, a constructor assembler, and either start making this stuff this stuff or this stuff right but in order to make this i need to make these and the stuff for this i have both of the uh i'm making pipes and wires so we can make these cables no big deal this here i would need to make um the advanced plating and i'm making i'm making this stuff for these right now right here so I've been using this though. Like this was almost full. I've used a lot of this and I've used some of the rotors too. So these aren't going that fast, but they're going. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for me. Appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, apologize for any frustration you may have 
encountered from my water situation, but uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.